I am here with Paul from Gerica Roting, uh, Ro Rotaval. Gerica Rotaval, I'll get it right. Um, Paul, how are you doing? Very good, thank you. First day of PPMA 2018. Uh, first time I've ever done it, which is good. Um, so we're expecting a big, uh, a big three days, hopefully. So what are you hoping to get out of it? Uh, we're hoping to make a lot of new contacts within the UK and also Europe, hopefully. Um, even further afield, even better. Um, but I said this is the first time uh, for Gerica Rotaval. Um, Gerica Rotaval are part of a, a larger Swiss group, which is called Gerica. Uh, which is based in Switzerland, obviously. Um, but yeah, we're, we're here for the first time. We're going to give it a go, and uh, it's it's looking good. It's looking promising. Fantastic. And what is it exactly that Gerica Rotaval does? Well, Rotaval speaks for itself. We actually manufacture rotary valves. Um, you can see we've got sort of three of the main models um, for Rotaval on the stand. Um, we basically operate within food, uh, pharmaceuticals, uh, cement, anything where there's a powder that needs transfers or any, any sort of um, material that can be transferred through a conveyor line, uh, through discharge lines, all that kind of stuff. So. And what kind of clients do you have? What kind of clients? Uh, Nestle, Mondelez, um, all the big sort of food, milk manufacturers, uh, Kerry Foods in Ireland. So mainly all the main, the, the main large clients and food producers. Um, but that's just a small portion of our business. We probably operate over about 10 different types of industries, uh, recycling, uh, aggregates, minerals, mining, uh, food, dairy. <laughs> so pretty much anywhere where there's a powder. The list goes on. Now, can you have a, give us a little tour of the stand? So yeah, we we'll start off with, uh, this is our sort of main, the main sort of, uh, it's called the HDMF. This okay. is a fast clean valve. So generally this valve is used in the sort of dairy industry. Uh, the main reason is you can actually pull the valve apart. You can clean it in situ. Um, so yeah, that's the sort of the high end valve. Um, generally the more expensive valve. So we like to sell those type of things. <laughs> uh, just a smaller version there behind you. Um, so that's a that's big 250. That's a 150. And then we've got the standard drop through valve. And then we get through it here onto the smaller types of valves. What would you use for the smaller types of valve, smaller for example? Valves, so basically when it's a small type of plant, uh, mainly in pharma yeah. um, or small food companies, um, people who make small ingredients, so the likes of people who, who make flavourings for bubblegum yeah. um, or, or start-up plants where they're actually trying to make a new ingredient and that ingredient is going to be scaled up to the larger size. So generally that'll start off with a, with a small plant and then eventually they'll scale up to the larger valves. So it could be a new a new powder that's being trialled or a new ingredient that's being trialled and then they actually scale that up on, on, onto a bigger, a bigger scale with the bigger valves and the bigger pieces of equipment. And um, we do have quite a big piece of equipment just here which I'd like to have a little chat about. Uh, tell me what is going on here? This is basically a small version of a powder transfer system. Uh, it's basically just recirculating powder so generally you could end up with one of these valves attached to a larger version of this. Um, so p potentially that you know you could have a small valve on this type of equipment. Um, on the back here you can see a nibbler uh, the nibbler is mainly used for, for sort of creating small agglomerates, um, chopping chocolate up, recirculating biscuits, and a sifter there is for size reduction. Wow, so there's an awful, you've got like the, the full 360 under Gerica. Yeah, we like to think so, we like to think so. There's a lot more stuff we do in the group. Each company generally specialises in, in, uh, in a small piece of equipment or small manufactured equipment, um, but the biggest part of the business is systems. If you look on the back here, um, basically that's a graphic of everything that Gerica do. So anything from unloading into silos all the way through to finished and packed items at the end. Um, well, brilliant. And uh, this is obviously your first PPMA. First PPMA. Uh, what are you most looking forward to? Uh, orders. <laughs> <laughs> inquiries, meeting new customers, uh, orders. Uh, well, not obviously not orders, but inquiries and meeting new customers. We're looking for opportunities. Uh, we want to showcase what we've got. Uh, we've tried to do it in a way where we've never done it before. Uh, this is probably the biggest show that Gerica Road to Valand, Gerica Limited have done for, for a long, long time. So. We're, uh, we're just waiting for the people to come in. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm sure they're going to come in uh, in their hundreds and thousands. Um, and also, so why is it so important that shows like PPMA exist? Um, because it, you get to showcase in a, in a small arena to lots of different customers. Um, if you imagine the sales effort for going out to, you know, for one guy or for a few guys on a small team to actually to, to, to meet so many people in one in one place, it's it's much easier. So the view is hopefully everybody will come here and we can meet them all over the next three days. Well, Paul, thank you very much for chatting to us. Have a great show.